Hey there folks, this is Greeny XI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Link to the Past. This is episode 11. In the last episode, we took care of the icy dungeon, the fifth dungeon of the overworld. Today, we're going for the sixth one, and make sure you've got your flute on you, because you're not getting in there without it. <laughs> I had another look. Yeah, it's five more heart pieces we need to collect before the end of the game, and I'm pretty sure I remember where they are. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Which is actually a little bit disappointing. You might think that I'd be really happy about it, but uh, hmm. <laughs> I wanted to do, to do a bonus episode, clearing up the last couple of heart pieces. That was the plan after the game was finished. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen though. There are two heart pieces in this swamp. You can't actually access a swamp for this dungeon without the flute in the bottom left, because as you can see, there's a wall blocking off the right half of the, or the right side of the swamp or the entrance. Oop. Come on, not pterodactyl, a little shit. It's just like a reskinned crow, really, you know. Uh, let me turn the sound off. There we go. Oh god. There we go. Wasn't sure if we get hit by that then. Okay. Just push these out the way a sec. And there we go. We got another heart container. So just four more to get. Four more heart pieces. Just hit, you know. Queue up behind the fireballs. Sounds right. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you know what game's coming out soon? Killzone 2. I've been looking forward to it so much. Surprisingly. It's not a game I thought I would like that much, but I went to play the beta the other weekend. Oh, shit. The other weekend, and it's like Left 4 Dead, sort of. Same sort of special zombies and stuff like that, so... Anyways, let's get another heart piece. Quite a lot around this swamp area, isn't there? Quite a lot of heart pieces. There we go. Easy enough little block maze. Yeah, back to the dark world. Okay, there's one more cave around here. Only one more that I know of. There might be another one somewhere, but it doesn't have anything special in it either way. I don't need it. Okay. This is where you need one of the medallions. I can't remember where you get this one from. Check in the comments if you remember. The other one. I can't remember which one of those three it was, so. But you gotta use it to get in. Just like in the light world, you gotta use the Book of Medora to get in to this dungeon in the same place, so it's got similarities. Okay, speaking of similarities, this dungeon is very similar to dungeon number four to me. It's got like a couple of layers. I think it's called Misery Maya, from what I remember from the Game Boy Advance version. I don't know why this doesn't say the names of the dungeons as they're coming in. I really don't. Seems like a bit of an oversight. Maybe it's something they didn't do in all the games. Maybe I had to look it up in instructions and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, these little wizards, they don't move, so you know where they're coming from. There are some wizards that do move, but die in these ones. Wiz robes? I won't say wiz robes, or maybe that's from a different Zelda game, a similar type of enemy. So anyway, this, this is the part I thought of when I thought of the Thieves Hideout, the fourth yeah, the fourth dungeon of the Dark World. Ah, oh, don't need to go that way yet. Later. Because of the top and bottom layers of everything. This is more complicated though. This is one of the tougher dungeons in the game, navigation-wise and stuff. It's got the crystal switches, as you can see already. And on top of that is just loads of ways to go. Loads of different exits. Right. Let's get this guy first. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the laser... The sword beam is so good. Do you know what? Let's go for it. There we go. <laughs> Just walk over. Oh, we need a key. You, we could use the invincibility cloak and stuff like that, but why bother? But I will get some health back. Ah, <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I was planning to. Okay, we need the 
big key this way. I'm gonna kill these three enemies just in case I miss out on something. No, nothing. Okay, no. No point using the mirror. I don't want to repeat the first part. We need a big key for most of the stuff going on around here. I'm going to try bombs down here as well. So I'm not too sure. It won't be the right one, I don't think, but it might be the middle one. No. Okay. This is why I didn't want to do too much before coming into this dungeon, because it does take me a while. It is the dungeon that probably takes me the longest. Ah, oh God, there's so many things going on outside. If you wait for it all, all the time, you'll be in here forever. So I'm not. <laughs> Check the map a sec. We haven't got a map with me. Left. Try left. Oh, shut in now. Magic isn't a problem in this place. So don't worry about that. Don't bring in magic potions if... You know, if you haven't... If I haven't got any, don't bother. <laughs> so there's nothing now. We will try up. Another big key door by there, I remember that. Oh yeah, good. We went the right way. Because we get a little key. Yeah. El Yavo. Misery Mayo is right. You can't get so stuck in it. Oh I can. Don't know why I speak for everyone when they say that sort of thing. Another key. And saying that as well. I was told in the comments, those in this version of Zelda, they are invincible. Oop. You might think, there's only one key in here. Well, <laughs> there's two in one room. That don't happen very often, does it? Don't want to go down. Let's try up here. I'm just guessing, by the way, if I hadn't noticed. <laughs> I want to get on that red path in order to finish the dungeon, but we need the big key and the inventory item by then. Yeah, <laughs> die you dude. Okay, this is a good way to come. This is where we're going to make use of the crystal switch. Possibly the only one in the dungeon? Okay, good. But it opens up access to so many different directions, so it's good. It's really good. Another key door, do I really want it? What's it lead to? Is a way we can access a different way round from by the looks of it. So we're gonna go backwards after I've checked under that skull. No. Okay. Hey! Flopsy! <laughs> Come on, go away, bunny. Why does thing turn into a rabbit though? What is it about rabbits that's courageous or anything? I don't know. Not sure. Alright, we can't do anything in here yet, I don't think. No, we'll be teleporting here later. Come here. Oh, I knew that was there as well. Oh, shit. Okay, we'll go back down then. We've got plenty of keys now, but I'm not sure where to use them. If we have a look at the map and see where we haven't been. If we go down and right, I don't think that leads to a big key. I think that leads to the big chest. Oh, but there's a chest for there, so... Oh, the map! Good. Good. So if we have a look now, if we go right, like I said, big chest. And I don't really... I, th I think... Okay, this has given us access to another little area, so why not? Top of that. We could have come here from the left, so nothing gained from that. We can get that skull. I'm going to try it, because I'm not sure about it. Then we're going to try that door, but there, I think. 
Anything good? Ooh, chest. Oh, another key! Bloody hell! They're everywhere in this dungeon. Here we go. Another locked door. Good job the keys are everywhere then, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. These floors do always get me. Another crystal thing. I don't think I'll go for it. No, right now. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. I think we'll go down first. Dice slug. Oh. That worked out well. Ah, oh, it's dead end. Shit. So we need to get around... around us somehow. Probably a bomble wall on the left way. We'll try it anyway. Yeah. See, so long as you've got the magic powder, you shouldn't worry about dungeons too much, because they usually have, um... usually have plenty of anti fairies and stuff. Ah, right, I remember this part. Before you do anything, you want to push these blocks out of the way so that you have easier access to things in a sec. Make sure you've got plenty of magic for this part, so I guess there's this part where magic's important. I was saying, I don't bring magic potions in. I still stand by that, you might as well have health related items, but even still. If you go to the left, uh, through the door to the right, I mean, you'll come across, I think is Zelda telling you something, or Sarsarala, or something like that, about these torches. Okay, let's get it quick. The lantern would be fine, actually, because you're going up close anyway. But, even still, don't really matter. It's just a ball moving somewhere, don't worry about it. For some reason, when I see walls moving because of things you do in dungeons, I always think of Link's Awakening, where... Is it Link's Awakening? No, it's one of the Oracle games, I think, actually. But, um, is where you knock down pillars with a ball, with a giant ball. Yeah. <laughs> Link, it's I, Sarsuala, the Elder. You must set fire to four torches to open the way forward. Yep, that's, um, blunt. <laughs> Very blunt. Okay, just the chest chest, thank god. The big key! Yes! Okay, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go back to that central room. The big central room. Uh, actually, let's go this way first. <laughs> Why not? This is gonna lead us all out of the dungeon though, eh? I don't wanna do that yet. No, we're not doing it yet. we'll be missing out if I do. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> Pretty skeletons. They dodge you so well. Yeah. That's where I want to go. I can't even remember what the key item is, but we're going to get it. Oh, the eyes. They'll become a bigger part of the next dungeon. Oh yeah, it's the cane, you do... Good job we came back then. This is the last inventory item we're getting, and it's the cane of Samaria. What it does, you put a block down, you can push it around, you can chuck it at enemies. But it's good for puzzles, for like switches and stuff. And as well as that, if you press Y again, bit, it hurts enemies in four directions, but I never use it for that, but... You can. If you want to. Right, which way are we going now? Is it left or up? Up. Pretty sure. <laughs> Might be wrong. No, it is this way. That's good. Oh, we got through this dungeon quite well. I did get a bit lost and stuff, but it wasn't that bad. Oh. <laughs> Spike's there. Link, you're drunk. 
Yeah, bit of magic. Oh, thank God. We're not quite done yet, but... Got through all the maze-like parts of the dungeon, so... Yeah. Locked door by F, you'll have an extra key on him. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's only for a bit of money. And by this point... Our playthrough, anyway, we don't need it at all. So... But yeah, the way you actually need to go, you need the cane for. Press it, the door opens, but then it shuts again, so... Yeah, you need a block on it so you can walk through. Don't ask why you can do that, I don't know. I think it's because the room's dark and you might just do it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't got a compass. I was quite surprised about that. I must have missed it. Yeah, the bombs. Again, this is something you I'm pretty sure you don't need to do, but I want to show it off. Oh, I might have missed it. No, I still got it. That's good. Right, I do want to get a fairy. Right. Uh, boomerang? Don't have to use boomerang. <laughs> use whichever distance, sort of. Weapon one for this path, but yeah, I think we need to do that. If I'm wrong, we'll be coming back out in a sec. Right, now where's the door? There it is. I got dark. Yeah, we're right. To go any further, we need to bomb this wall, and we sort of saw it from the rupee room we were just in. <laughs> Little cockroaches came out. Or dust bunnies or something. Yeah, we made it through. Oh shit. Those enemies will keep dropping from the ceiling in this room. Don't worry about them. Let's go up without hitting the crystal switch back there. Cause I, I think you do have to hit it, but yeah you do. Okay, back down. <laughs> yeah, a bit of magic as well. It's great. If you haven't got the magic powder and you're running low on health or something, you can't just keep killing those enemies that keep dropping down. <laughs> if you wanted to. Okay, here we go. Boss time. Okay. Sword is all you need for this one. As they come out, you'll be shooting them. There might be a better way of killing the boss. I don't know of it. Maybe a magic spell. Ooh. That lightning chase you around wherever you go, so you just got to try and suddenly move out of the way at some point. The last second kind of thing. So you can't react then. More eyeballs are gone. Oh, shit. More eyeballs are gone. As you can see, it starts to... Do it faster. Did I just get invincibility frames or something? Hmm. Oh my god, faster is one word for it. Hey, come on. Here he comes. I don't know why the last four don't come for you, but now it's just an easy time. It was easy anyway, easy enough, but you know. I don't know if you can go in this water. I never try because I always think you're going to get hurt. Let's try it. Yeah, it looks like you can go in this water, just not the green stuff. It's taking some killing. There we go. Ah, that dungeon went so much easier than I thought it would. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to do one more thing before this episode ends, so... We will. I think it unlocks now anyway, I think. Hello. Link, because of you I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. 
and then, using the wizard Agony as his pawn, he drew us to the Dark World. After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside of these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters, but Ganon didn't plan on your getting this far. You see a bit of this crystal sort of trapping in Ocarina of Time as well, don't know with Zelda near the end. Now, Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Please hurry. Yep, Zelda's the only one left. Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Thank you. Okay. What I'm going to do is save and quit and then go back into it. Because the other thing I want to do today now is get the better sword and something else that you need in order to beat the final, final boss. We're going to get inside the pyramid finally. It's easy enough, don't worry. I think it unlocks now because normal bombs ain't going to work. We were told that earlier. So we need to use like a mega bomb, a big bomb. I think it's called big bomb. And you get it from where Link's house was in the light world. It's now a bomb shop. Yeah, you need quite a bit of money for that, I suppose. So I say quite a bit, it ain't that much. <laughs> Here we go, up oh, yeah. Come on, let it be there, let it be there. It is, yes. This is only you once you've done the sixth dungeon then. Thank you, I think it was 100 rupees. Okay, if you run, it'll get left behind. Just like with the treasure chest before that I had the last magic bottle. If you run, it'll get left behind and start to blow up. You have like a 10 second counter to get back to it and pick it up before it explodes. I think if you get hit, if you go down a cliff, I think they're the things that stop you from you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's check the map a sec. I thought we were going the wrong way. That started blowing up. That's what I was trying to say earlier. It's an awkward little thing, but, you know. I love how it looks when you're walking up and down with it, though. Like, the wire on the top that goes, it bobs about, as if, like, it's a tail or something. <laughs> or ponytail. But yeah, our sword seems good now. We're gonna get an incredible one. The best one. And how can you argue with that? Okay, hello. <laughs> it's the last of the overworld optional stuff we'll be doing other than the last couple of heart pieces. Right. Come on, over here. I just press A to start running. It ain't ten, ten, ten seconds, it's three, is it? Pitch one who's ten. Well, okay. Hello, it's another fairy fountain. We want to throw in the bow and arrow for definite. This is what you need to do in order to beat the last boss. You need the better bow and arrow. Here we go. <laughs> she was transformed when she turned when it turned into the dark world. You're an honest person, I like you. I'll give you something important. These are silver arrows to give Ganon in his last moment. You definitely need them. I know I don't quite have the figure of a fairy. Ganon's cruel power is to blame. You must defeat Ganon. Oh, we will. We will, Chuck. Okay. One more thing. One... <laughs> you can get better shield, but that's a part of, like, the last... We'll begin that in the next dungeon, so... We don't throw that in. Ah, uh, was it too... I've gone the long way through. There. Yeah. Time to get the best sword. It's really good and it'll help us so much when it comes to this final dungeon now. Make life easier. Not just for the boss, but otherwise as well. Yeah! Your sword's stronger, you can feel its power throbbing in your hand. The best sword. Look how fast it charges up. And it's just damaging as hell as well. So, that's what we're going to do today. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we go for the... Actually, it might be the only, ep the only episode in the series that doesn't have a dungeon in it. Because it takes a while to get to the final of the seven dungeons. I don't know. We'll see how time, time goes. Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.